if you ever like a film with a good revenge plot, I say The Beekeeper is that film for you. Stars Jason Statham as Adam Clay, a beekeeper, who embarks on a mission for revenge when he learns that his friend, Felicia Richard, who kills herself, was also cheated out of her savings and a retirement fund by a by a card scamming company who does that and cheats old people out of their money. And he will and he will take them down one by one because he's also got a particularly deadly set of skills that make him a nightmare for people like that. And I'm sure you've heard that line too many times. <laughs> And he doesn't care who he's got to step on or knock down to get to this to the head of the company. He will do it. And that's about all I'm going to tell you. Is The Beekeeper a good film? It's entertaining. It's I wouldn't say it's a masterpiece. It's, it's like Arnold Schwarzenegger's Commando. It's like turn your brain off and then just enjoy the film. Don't look for any... Don't look for any... Uh... Oscar-worthy moments, if, if that's what you're thinking. This movie's not. This movie doesn't do that, <laughs> and it's what you would get from a typical Jason Statham type of film. I mean, he's good as Adam. Just he becomes this sort of sort of Terminator for eliminating these evil companies. And in, in the movie, in the movie says that, and he does say that Felicia Richard's character took care of him. But I wish. I wish the movie could have emphasized on it more. I mean, the movie, it probably did, but it was cut down. Because they felt the movie wanted to get right to the point of the story. And it does do that. And these characters, these characters who run the credit card company are pretty slimy. I like the way you're introduced to them. to the, And you got to say they're slimy and you're, and you're just eagerly waiting for Statham to come take them down. Because <laughs> I like the way the movie does establish how unlikable they are. And Josh Hutchinson as Derek, who runs these, who runs these scamming companies, he's pretty slimy too. He's just not likable in sense. You just kind of enjoy hating him. <laughs> and Josh Hutch Josh Hutchinson plays that to a tease. He just milks it for all it's worth. How good at playing an unlikable character he is. I mean, I think that could be a good stepping turn for Josh Hutchinson. And the other performances don't disappoint. Uh. Emma Rover Lapman is good as Felicia Richard's daughter in the film, and she's also an FBI agent. She has a lot of spunk in her in her performance, and uh, Jeremy Irons is good as uh, the guy who protects Hutchinson's character because he's also a stepson. He doesn't like what he does, but he protects him nonetheless because if he's a stepson, I wish they they do good with. What they good with they they do good with Jeremy Irons is what they do. Wish they could have done a little bit more. My only my second real complaint is that it ends in a typical Jason Statham like way. I'm not gonna say how it ends, but it just feels like they could have done something better with the ending than what they did. I mean, <laughs> spoiler alert: they could have left. I feel like it's leaving it open for a sequel. But nonetheless, this is a good film and entertainingly fun film. So I give a an eight out of ten. See you later.